Well, it's great to have you with us for another episode of Marking the Times. Uh, thank you for taking time to uh, join us for these uh, video blogs that we do uh, regularly to answer questions you send in and also to talk about uh, end time events that are happening in our world today and how they relate to Bible prophecy. And what I want to do is answer a question that I was sent in and it's really appropriate uh, for this time of year and it has to do with the relationship of the Jewish Feast of Trumpets to the rapture of the church. Now this question comes up often this time of year because you know, in 2019 the, the Feast of Trumpets or Rosh Hashanah is September 30th to October 1st. It's, it's those two days on the English calendar. And a lot of people believe that the Feast of Trumpets is related to the rapture of the church. So let me explain just a little bit about the Jewish feast and show why that connection is made and why I, why I don't see a connection between those two things. But um, in, in Leviticus chapter 23, we have the seven feasts of, of the Lord, seven feasts of Yahweh. And uh, those seven feasts are, and in, in the, the, the spring feasts are Passover and then unleavened bread and then first fruits and then Pentecost. And then you have a long period of time, a long gap of time. And then in the fall, you have the three fall feasts of trumpets or Rosh Hashanah, the Day of Atonement, and then the Feast of Booze or Tabernacles. Now, when you think about those feasts, the, the first four of those feasts, the spring feasts, were fulfilled in particular uh, periods or particular dates in, in the first coming of Jesus and then the coming of the Holy Spirit. Jesus died on Passover. He's resurrected on first fruits. Uh, the Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. And so since those things happened on those particular feast days, then a lot of people will say, well, Feast of Trumpets is when the rapture of the church is going to take place. And of course, they make a further connection there because it's called the Feast of Trumpets. And uh, we have a trumpet mentioned in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 1 Corinthians 15 in the discussion of, of the rapture. In fact, in 1 Corinthians 15, it says the rapture will happen at the last trumpet. And so because of that, many people believe that the rapture of the church, the next event on God's prophetic calendar, is going to happen on uh, that feast day on the Feast of Trumpets. Uh, now, I don't, I don't hold that view, and there's a couple reasons I don't hold that. First of all, we have to remember that back in uh, the uh, book of Leviticus, these are the feasts for Israel. Uh, they're the feasts of Yahweh, but they're feasts for the Jewish people or for Israel. So Jesus' death on the cross, his resurrection, even Pentecost, those were fulfilled in events that took place in preparation for the coming of the Messianic kingdom. Now, certainly as believers in the church, we partake of the death of Jesus that was fulfilled at Passover, his resurrection at first fruits, and we participate in, in Pentecost, which is the beginning of the church. But all of those really happened so that everything would be in place for their Messiah to come and to rule over the nation of Israel. But of course, they rejected him. And we're in this long period of time now between Pentecost and Feast of Trumpets, this summer, if you will. And, but someday the Feast of Trumpets will be fulfilled. But I take it the Feast of Trumpets is fulfilled not in the rapture, but in the regathering of the Jewish people in the end times. And then Day of Atonement will be fulfilled when there's a, a national turning of the Jewish people to their Messiah. And then the Feast of Tabernacles or Booze will be fulfilled in the coming millennial kingdom or millennial reign of Jesus. So I take the Feast of Trumpets as the events of the second coming of Jesus and the regathering of the Jewish people spoken of like in Matthew chapter 24, where they'll be regathered, not, not for the rapture of the church. Another problem, I think, to me of having Feast of Trumpets be the rapture is that's a, a soft form, really, of date setting. Um, you're saying that, you know, we know the day when Jesus is going to come. Now, we don't know the year, but every year after Feast of Trumpets has passed, then people can say, well, you know, Jesus can't come back for another year. And so we know the day, and every year, you know, there can be this fever pitch, you know, Jesus has to come back on this day. When he doesn't come, then it's like, okay, we're, we're good for another year of the Lord coming. And to me, I think as believers, we're to live every day as if Jesus could come. We're to be looking for that blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus. Um, 1 Thessalonians 1.10 says we're to be waiting up for his Son from heaven. And so I don't see the Feast of Trumpets related to uh, the rapture of the church. A lot of Bible teachers do. Many people have taught that over the years. Uh, but I see those as two different things. The rapture is an event that will end the church age that could happen at any moment. Uh, the Feast of Trumpets will be fulfilled then later in conjunction with Christ's second coming when the Jewish people are, are regathered to their land. 
So hope that's helpful about that connection. Every year when Feast of Trumpets is ready to roll around in the fall, a lot of people wonder about that. Uh, we don't need to live if Jesus could come back just on some certain day, but we need to live every day as if he could come and live in light of that. Well, thank you for joining us. God bless you. We'll see you next time.